Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about major hurricane Teddy that could impact portions of New England or Nova Scotia later on this week into the weekend. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the current forecast cone for Major Hurricane Teddy. It is expected to maintain its major hurricane intensity up until around Bermuda and is expected to peak as a very high end Category 4 hurricane and could potentially become a Category 5 hurricane as it impacts Bermuda. Bermuda it will weaken to around a Category 3 to Category 2 hurricane, similar to Paulette, and they could see the same impacts as Paulette did. Before the system maintains hurricane strength Category 1 as it approaches Nova Scotia. These are current tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. You see the pink there is 90 plus percent chance, and the dark green is 5 to 10 percent chance to see tropical storm force winds. This is intensity guidance for Hurricane Teddy. You see all of them going into Category 4, one getting close to Category 5 before weakening as it becomes extra tropical. When the system does become extra tropical as it approaches Nova Scotia, the wind field will expand significantly, meaning impacts may be felt well beyond the cone, which is, would be much of New England and Nova Scotia. And after hour 132, the system weakens below hurricane strength with how most of these models are. These are some potential paths it could take. These are only a few models. They have it quite narrowed down, but in reality, it's not really narrowed down. This is a complex system. Many things could happen. Different models agree on different things, like the European models agree on a United States to Nova Scotia landfall, getting very close to the United States, while others have it staying out to sea. The system could evolve in two ways. When it approaches Nova Scotia, it could either make a sharp curve right away from the United States or a sharp curve left heading right for Maine and the rest of New England. What will happen is uncertain. Either one could happen and the system needs to be watched closely. This is one of the European models. You can see it has that system Teddy at that 947 there you see next to New England as it impacts coastal New England and Maine before heading right into Nova Scotia and into the Arctic Ocean. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic. You can see where Teddy is around now by Bermuda. There's 29 to 30 degree Celsius waters, but as you go more north, the waters get much more cooler as the system becomes extra tropical. Like I said, when the system does become extra tropical, its wind field will increase significantly and its impacts may be felt well beyond the center of the system. That's the trusted weather forecast for major Hurricane Teddy that could impact the United States and Canada. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.